okay now i'm going to share my screen so in today's class we are going to see uh, please let me know whether uh, it is visible or not my screen is visible hope my screen is visible if yes please raise your hand rajesh is that visible Rajesh, okay. Hope it is visible. Okay. <clears throat> so here is the, the topics which we are going to cover today. Okay. So parallelly we are going to see the Excel also. So in today's class, first uh, ten minutes or ten to fifteen minutes, I will tell you how to generate them um, basic charts. Okay, basic charts in uh, Excel. You are already having the data set, right? Uh, we have already created one uh, data set in previous class itself. I have given some exercise regarding to this. And I ask you to create uh, invoice data set. And you people also created. So using uh, that data set, we are going to create some charts, OK? And uh, next thing is we are going to see the Postgres, uh, some SQL commands and its data types and uh, var class operators so these are the topics which we are going to see today okay so the first thing shall we move on to the excel uh, excel uh, i will open the excel invoice okay okay this is the, the the similar kind of table which you have created on that day right so hope you guys uh, having those tables if uh, you are having the table just to try to work parallelly with me the first chart which we are going to see is the first chart is histogram. Okay. So when I talk about this histogram, what we will need is, okay. So uh, what we will need is just only one measure. Uh, you guys know very well about uh, what is mean by measuring uh, uh, type and uh, the categorical data type. So the categorical data type is nothing but it uh, it will be like this, okay? So the categories, New York. So I can able to uh, group those things, okay? Uh, so if I want uh, the city, uh, New York alone, I can able to group uh, those things, okay? Uh, New York, uh, so city-wise, I can able to group. But in the measurable column is nothing but uh, it is it uh, should be a continuous uh, uh, thing okay the continuous uh, see the price quantity the cost and the date also the continuous thing okay so for uh, doing the histogram we need <clears throat> uh, some continuous data okay like um, quantity uh, like uh, date uh, and time okay uh, like age um what else uh, uh, it's uh, something measurable or uh, something measurable like uh, um some milliliters kilometers so something measurable like this okay to create a histogram chart so it just need a single only one column okay only one column it need so using that one column how it is uh, well, let us see how it is uh, doing the chart using only one column so here I'm taking this sum or count anything, okay? <clears throat> so I'm going to insert a histogram. Here you can see, so go to insert and you can see the histogram chart, okay? So just click on it and you can see automatically it will uh, create a bins, okay? Automatically it will create, it, it took the frequency of the count Okay, it, it took the frequency of the count, see 43, 52, 62, so random numbers are there. So automatically it will create the bins accordingly, okay, from 35 to 41 range, this much count, okay, from 41 to 47 range. So this count, okay, I have taken this count of the items, <coughs> automatically it will create a bins from 41 to 47 this much count I'm having. So from 47 to 53, this much count I'm having. So the histogram will create the count. Okay, it will it will uh, took the frequency uh, of that uh, particular column. Okay, it should be a measurable field. Okay, 
and measurable uh, field can also be uh, discrete. So it, uh, this uh, date column can also be discrete and it can also be continuous with the uh, time. Okay. So this is how we create the histogram. So hope you guys clear with the histogram, right? <clears throat> okay. So after uh, finishing this histogram, we are going to see the bar chart. Okay. Uh, you guys are understanding what I'm saying. Okay. Um, please raise your hand. If you are clear in histogram, please raise your hand or if you are uh, working parallelly with me, please raise your hand or give thumbs up. Have you guys created uh, this uh, histogram in your Excel? We have already created this uh, invoice data, right? We have already created this invoice data set in the previous class. Please try to work parallelly with me, okay? So this is the first chart. So the next chart we are going to see is the bar chart. Okay. So the bar chart. So to uh, in order to do this bar chart, I need one dimension. One dimension is nothing but one uh, categorical uh, thing. Okay. And uh, one measure. One measure column. It, this is the minimum requirement. Okay. This is the minimum requirement. Hmm? So the, my minimum requirement to draw a bar chart is one dimension. That is one uh, categorical column and one measurable column. So since we don't have any, okay, here we are having a category. Huh? The <coughs> item one, item two, item three. But uh, this is a unique one, right? So I can't uh, create uh, the, uh, the, I can't group this. So item one, item two, the, I, within this item, this is unique. Within this oil, this is unique. Which is unique so i need uh, some categorical type okay so let me take some so, uh, okay we have already seen this book details we have already installed this book details in our postgres have you remember we have already installed this uh, book details using copy command we have installed this uh, we, ha we have already uh, uh, having this data set in our uh, postgres right so I will give it, uh, uh, I'll put it in the GitHub also you, so that you can be able to download and uh, just uh, push it into the Postgres, okay? Just copy this into the Postgres so that you can be able to practice it parallelly with me. Uh, okay, now to create a bar chart, okay? To create, a, there are two kinds of bar chart. One is stacked and a normal bar chart, okay? We will see one by one. So to create a bar chart, I will... Um, Okay, I need one, um, see here, I need one um, dimension and uh, I need one um, count, okay? So I, I need one measure. So let me create one more column like this, okay? And I'm going to generate some random numbers, okay? So this uh, count is nothing but how much uh, uh, book count is there available in the bookstores. Like that, you can imagine, okay? Rand between. I'm going to create some random number between uh, 200 to 300, okay? I'm going to generate it. It's just a random number. Hmm? So it will automatically create some numbers between 200 to 300. Now what I'm having is I'm just having, so for the um, better visibility purpose, I'm just copy pasting here, okay? Okay. So um, what I need is now, um, I need to know how much uh, uh, books available, okay? How much count of books available in young adult genre and mystery genre and fiction and children. So these are the categories I'm having, right? Some uh, five or six categories I have. So I want to know how much, okay? how much uh, books available count, the total count, sum of count, you can take it uh, like that, okay? The sum of count available in this journals. So what I'm doing is I'm creating a chart, but by simply uh, just selecting this and creating a chart will not work. See, you can see uh, the chart is not um, meaningful, right? 
uh, it, it, it the, because the values are repeating the young adult young adult so it is repeating i don't want chart like this okay so i want all uh, i i want to group the young adults and i want to see the sum of all the young adults books uh, i want to see the sum of uh, all fictional books okay so in order to group the things what i need to do is already we have seen about the pivot chart okay the pivot table right so here this is the book uh, range and i want to create inside the existing worksheet and here is the range and these are all we have already seen right so here it uh, will create the pivot table okay within this so now i'm going to choose the two things jenner and count so after selecting this see here automatically it will group in this journal children journal what is the sum in this education journal what is the sum of count of books in this fictional journal what is the sum of count of books okay and this is the grand total now what i'm going to do is after selecting this i'm going to insert a chart now it will gives you some meaningful chart you can see here it will gives you some meaningful chart okay see here in children children is the uh, highest uh, children journal having highest count and next is education next is so here here you can see the filters also you can able to uh, choose particular things you see if i want only children you can choose from here okay if i want education you, cho you can choose from here okay so the you can able to see the filters also and sum of count if you don't want the sum if you want the average that also you can able to add see here <laughs> we have already seen hmm, value field settings inside the value field settings i can able to change it as an average count so the uh, see you can see the average count has changed uh, instead of a sum it changed as an average count so like that you can able to create some meaningful chart okay why we are going for the chart instead of the data because uh, seeing the data in the rows and uh, column format is very boring thing and we can we cannot able to uh, find some meaningful information uh, with this right it is very difficult to find the, some meaningful information on seeing this okay with uh, for, especially for the non technical persons and all if you want to show the uh, data uh, some information regarding to this the charts are very much apt okay so that only we are creating the charts so hope you guys understand uh, what i'm telling have you are you following my point are you parallelly working with me please raise your hand or give thumbs up please give thumbs up come on guys you need to work parallelly with me these are all very very important things okay <coughs> so some of them are raising their hand okay i believe that your people are working with me so this is the bar chart <clears throat> if you have any doubts please put it in the chat box okay so for in order to uh, do the bar chart what we need one minimum one uh, dimension and one measure okay one measurable field like this count okay and one uh, grouping field uh, one categorical field okay so we have made a bar chart how we made <clears throat> after choosing this two <clears throat> we went uh, we go for the pivot table after pivot table we made a chart using this pivot table okay so looks very simple right so you can also able to make this kind of charts okay now we are moving to uh, the drill down okay uh, let me tell you what is uh, drill down uh, using this uh, okay we are having some data set in the regarding to the invoice okay let me take that invoice itself okay okay the, since this date is a very uh, very much same i'm going to create the date which is having some unique uh, which is having some more grouping things in that so that only it will very uh, easy to drill down and i'll show it to you guys okay i'm just drag dropping this and i'm changing uh, my month to 12 okay now you can see 
some changes in the data set. I'm changing the month into, again, I'm changing the month into 03. Okay, so now here I'm changing the month into 02. <clears throat> So here I'm changing my month into one. Okay. So let it be. So this is you can see here. So let me change the month. And now I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a uh, the same thing, a pivot table. Okay. So I'm going to create the pivot table inside the work, uh, existing worksheet uh, where I can mm -hmm. able to create. Okay, now here I will create the pivot table here. Okay, this is enough. And click OK. I want all the invoice date with respect to the count. Okay. See, automatically, it after uh, giving the date, okay, you need to change it as a date. Otherwise, it will take it automatically. Okay. So after giving this date column, automatically it will generate the drill downs. So month wise, okay, month wise, year wise. So since the year I have given is 2 to 2020, it will not generate, okay. If the years differ, <coughs> it will uh, generate the uh, grouping uh, the dates year by also. So hope you guys are uh, seeing this automatically it will uh, generate so this is called as a drill down okay month wise day wise i can able to drill down okay so similar thing we are going to do in the uh, chart also mm, similar thing we are going to do it in the chart wise also so now i'm choosing all the columns here <clears throat> i'm choosing this and uh, insert go to insert go to see it will generate the chart so january february march and november these are the months you can drill down okay so invoice date wise and uh, see so i want i here i'm filtering the date okay so if i don't want to filter the date just uh, click on everything and you can filter the date and month wise, year wise, if I change the year, it will uh, drill down year wise also. Okay. 21. So 22. Like that, it, you can able to give and uh, drill down everything. So for now, it will drill down only up to the month. Okay. It's up to your data set. See, after changing, uh, when I change all these things, uh, it will automatically create the chart it will also change according to the data okay so this is called as uh, drill down okay month wise year wise you can able to go inside the nuclear of the data set and uh, next thing is uh, uh, the bar chart uh, we have already seen okay stacked bar chart okay now we are going to see the stacked bar chart what is the time? Okay, we are having some more time. Uh, can shall we proceed with this or shall we move on to the Postgres? Put it in the chat box. Are you guys following me? Or practicing thoroughly? <clears throat> yes, please raise your hand. Have you guys completed creating this date-wise drill down chart? Just try to uh, change the year wise and date wise and everything, and you can able to drill down it properly. Okay, just change it uh, into year wise. So um, we can able to get the complete chart only <clears throat> when your data set is uh, very strong. Okay, when your data set is very strong, then only we can able to create uh, many detailed uh, chart using that. <clears throat> So create the data set accordingly, okay? Okay, fine, good. Okay, well, due to the time concern, I will move on to the Postgres, okay? Uh, tomorrow I will cover the stacked bar chart and all. So, so far now we have seen uh, what is the drill down, what is the um, uh, histogram, what is uh, the bar chart, what are all the things we need to do for the bar chart. First we have created 
we selected the field and we have created the pivot table and uh, from that pivot uh, output uh, what we did is uh, bar chart okay so there are many kinds of charts are there you can make use of, uh, use of it pie chart so one by one we will see daily okay um, okay i will move on to the next thing is uh, postgres okay <clears throat> So Postgres in last class, what we have seen, please put it in the chat box. I'm opening my shell, Postgres shell. Okay. Have you guys installed Postgres? If yes, please raise your hand. So I'm into the Postgres shell. And... Uh, what we used to do when uh, we want to see the uh, all the database inside see this is the command slash l we have already seen this slash l slash d slash d plus slash c so all these comments we have already seen and all these uh, purpose of these comments also we have already seen right so now i'm going to connect with my nmdb class okay data set database so now i'm connected with my nmdb class database do i need to increase the font is that okay <clears throat> okay now i'm going to uh, see what are all the uh, data data set okay what are all the relations we have uh, inside this uh, nmdb class data set so this is the only thing which we have um, uh, copied on that day, right? We, do you remember book details is the only data set which we have uh, uh, copied on the day using the copy command, right? This is the data set which we have copied. <clears throat> okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same process. Okay. I'm going to do the same process for online sale also so in uh, this online sale is nothing but it, this is related with that book sale uh, book details so uh, what are all the online sale details okay what are all the uh, books which sold online so i have stored all the uh, city state country and book id so this book id is related with this book detail okay this book id this book id only which i have given here also hmm? <clears throat> so this is the data which I have generated okay, for my practice purpose. You can also generate this, this kind of data. Okay. <clears throat> what is the price of that book? How much quantity it got sold? And what is the shipping cost? Okay. In order to uh, ship that particular uh, book to the, um, that particular country or uh, uh, state, what is the sh uh, shipping cost? And uh, what is the total amount? Hmm? What is the total amount? So by multiplying, so total amount can be calculated by using this price into quantity plus uh, shipping cost, right? So we can able to do like that. So we have already known about the formula also. Mm, now I'm going to type equal to, equal to what is the price of the book into quantity of the book plus shipping cost so this uh, this is my total amount <clears throat> so by clicking on that it will automatically fill okay so what i'm going to do is now i'm going to copy the same thing okay the copy the same online sale one dot csv is my file name inside the postgres and we are going to execute some um var class commands we have already seen the var class and all right so now we are going to see some operators related to that var class okay okay i have kept uh, the things ready okay now i am going to create a table with so you can see what are all the data types which i have used we see here var care date okay numeric i will tell you uh, uh, about all these data types don't worry about this okay now i'm going to create a table hmm? just do it parallelly with me now i'm going to create a table 
before copying my uh, csv into the before bringing my csv into the postgres okay all the data into the postgres i need one physical structure okay i am going to create a ta uh, table online sale table okay so these are all the fields which i need mm, the same fields order id order date ship date ship mode customer id customer name all the fields you need to give all the fields here also with the while creating uh, the table you need to give it with the data type okay now what are all this data type you can ask me what are this data type see here the postgres is having the data types boolean character numeric temporal u uuid so all this uh, data types we, we can able to use inside the postgres so boolean is nothing but a true or false right boolean as we know this is a true or false right true or false it's called as a boolean data type okay the character so inside this character data type we can use a char var char text okay so what is the difference between this char var char and text you people have already known about the uh, these things so uh, the char means it will uh, uh, it uh, it will give uh, see if i if i'm going to give you uh, some text within uh, after declaring this char uh, for that particular column it will uh, take only uh, the space of that text which i gave okay so for example if i gave uh, some text like this sfdf like this it will take only it will occupy only the space which i gave okay it will not uh, take more than that but var char var char by default it will take some more space okay by default it will take some more space <coughs> so it will occupy all those space um, uh, for that column so this is the uh, difference between char and var char okay so uh, next thing is a numeric so numeric uh, we already known about the uh, integer and all the range of the integer 30 uh, this is the range minus uh, 32768 to this is the range of the small int and this is the range of the big int and serial is nothing but automatically it will generate uh, mainly the serial is used to uh, to generate the unique uh, values okay uh, and it will also be act like an um, primary key so we will let you know in the upcoming classes about this and float float is nothing but um, we can able to use some floating point numbers with the n precisions okay it will take up to the eight bytes so similarly for the real number so everything we will see in the upcoming classes okay for, so for now what we are going to see is this is the data type character numeric and uh, one more thing is a date data type which i didn't give it here i think okay this is a temporary uh, temporary date time timestamp and interval so what i have declared here date for the ship date i have given it as a date so this is a very uh, simple format to give date alone so to give date alone we need to give it as a date as a data type to give time alone how it will take for the time it will take only hours minutes seconds like that it goes on okay for that i need to give only time so to give both date and time i should give timestamp timestamp is nothing but to give both date and time okay interval also one of the data type i will let you know when uh, uh, in the upcoming classes interval is used to uh, is, sorry uh, interval is a data type which we use to uh, uh, see the data date uh, uh, column between some range okay so i will let you know uh, uh, about this interval in the upcoming classes so for now you need to understand for date alone if you want to give that uh, particular column uh, date alone you need to declare it as a date and time alone uh, you need to declare it as a time and for a timestamp is nothing but a combination of both date and time okay okay so with respect to this uuid array json and all i will uh, tell you in the upcoming classes okay what 
the uuid there are many kind of uuids and uh, some algorithms they used to create uh, uh, to store this is for uh, unique values the, the unique rows it will create okay uh, to maintain the uh, uniqueness inside the data set we will create this uuid and to store the array okay array is nothing but uh, in programming languages which you have already learned okay this is the array this is the string array hmm? this is the string array it contains some primitive data types and set of primitive data types okay uh, this is the number array so like this you can create uh, you can able to store this array also inside the postgres okay and json is nothing but a key value pass so you will have the data type like this key within the uh, set bracket sorry within the curl bracket you will have key value like this okay so similarly hat store is a uh, hash storing and the special characters special types like a network address geometrical data everything we can able to store in the postgres so here i have used only this where care date and what else uh, and int and numeric okay you can give uh, the shipping cost should be in a numeric but in order to show this to you i can able to use integer also in order to show this to you i, I have just used uh, the new uh, int okay okay so i have created the table here now what i am going to do is i am going to copy okay i am going to copy this csv okay this csv into the postgres so what is my table name online sale okay <clears throat> what happened okay it should be uh, unique encoding okay i will set set client encoding <coughs> equal to utf8 okay so it uh, set uh, so this is nothing but uh, sometime the client encoding might change okay you need to set it to the utf this is a universal format for to support the ascii values okay so we need to give this command this give this query to change the format okay so again i am pasting it now you can see it has copied uh this much of uh, rows okay 19998 rows it has 19998 rows we have copied and it is under the table name called as see here online sale we have already seen about uh the copy command and all right hope you people remember we have already seen this copy command hmm? what is the syntax of this copy command slash copy if i want to copy something uh, inside my drive okay something inside my drive to the postgres okay before that you need to create the table inside the postgres and you need to give the table name okay this is the table name which you have already created and these are all the column names which you have uh, created in the using the create table and this is the path of the file okay this is the path of the file um inside your drive and comma is my delimiter i have already told you about this comma and the csv header yes it is having the csv header the first line in the uh, i mean the first row of uh, the uh, table is my header header means uh, the column names nothing but a column names okay so after copying shall we see the structure of, in order to see the structure of the table i need slash d okay slash d online sale so here you can see the structure of my table and with the data uh, data type i didn't give any kind of constraint here let uh, um, i will let you people know about the constraint and all nullable default uh, everything in the upcoming classes so i have just created the columns and its data type that's all what are the data types care variant date uh, numeric integer and everything so what i uh, okay what i need to do if i want to um, see only the first 10 rows uh, from my table so we have already seen that 
select star from star means all the columns okay star means nothing but all the columns star from online sale right this is my table name so, so it will select all the columns and all the rows i don't want that right so i want only what happened oh it's closing okay accidentally i press the control c key okay i will log in again psql so here it comes and i have typed the data set and i am connecting to nm underscore okay let me see my data set name okay so it is nm db class right slash c i am connecting with the my data ta database nm db class and what is my table name what is my table name online sale right that also we can confirm okay here is, see here it is online sale now i am going to see select star from online online sale limit uh, 5 i just want to see whether it has installed or not yes whether it has data set data inside the table or not yes it is having and everything install everything uh, we have copied in the proper way right so the same thing okay this is our uh, data set inside the excel and this is the same data set inside our postgres so now what i'm going to do is now i'm going to tell you about some operators related to the uh, var class so first thing is equal to operators so uh, let me tell you what the equal to will do i want to select select star from online sale i want only the state okay i'm uh, sorry uh, uh okay city anything i want only the city new york okay i want to filter the city new york alone the orders which i got from the new york city okay for that what we will use the filter where hmm? where select star from online sale where city which column i need to filter city equal to so while giving some values inside the city, while giving some values inside the column, I need to use the single quote. Okay. The single quote and I'm here copying the city name. Okay. So I want to view only the uh, city name New York. Okay. New York City. I want to view only the New York City. Okay. Sale under the New York City. <clears throat> here you can see it got filtered. New York City right same thing which we did in our excel right the same thing which we did in our excel you can see i have filtered what we did for uh, to filter in uh, excel we use the filter option right same thing i did in my query also so here i am filtering the new york okay here i am going to filter the new york city and then New York. Okay, New York. Okay, here it is. I don't want all this. I want only the New York City. So here you can see the same data set comes here also. Okay. <coughs> so this is with respect to the equal to. What is greater than, less than and all? We will see. So, what I'm going to do is I want to select, see, my requirement is I want to select uh, the price or the uh, total amount. Hmm? So, the total amount should be, okay, the total amount should be, here I'm going to type the amount. It should be greater than, okay, it should be greater than 100. 
so i am filtering what are all the uh, books sale okay how much amount of the books sale uh, greater than um, 100 okay i want to see all the rows okay all the rows greater than 100 okay again it's utf problem set client encoding equal to utf 8 okay after setting this i'm filtering you can see now the amount the amount will be greater than what are all the amount greater than 100 it will show okay you can see that from here the same thing which we did in our uh, excel right here i am filtering the amount greater than 100 so i can able to filter from here okay same thing which we did in our excel okay so this is for greater than and less than for less than also you can use the same thing okay so tell me what is the difference between greater than and greater than equal to okay here i have given greater than 100 the same thing which i have uh, if i give it like this greater than equal to 100 what is the difference so in this greater than 100 it will not uh, bring the uh, rows which is equal to 100 the rows which contain 100 will got eliminated only the amount it will choose only from the amount 101 okay it will not bring the 100 here but if it is equal to 100 then what it will do if it is equal to 100 then it will bring from 100 to until the uh, end of the cost okay it will bring all the amount equal to 100 equal to and greater than 100 like this okay 100 101 100 203 it goes on up to your data set okay at up to the cost which you have uh, given in the data set so that is the main difference between greater than and greater than equal to similarly okay the same thing which we are going to apply for the less than less than 100 means it will gives all the data less than 100 and equal to means it will gives all the data from 100 to less than 100 okay it will includes a 100 also that is the difference between uh, uh equal to and uh, greater than equal to and uh, simple greater than okay so hope you guys understood what i am coming to tell uh if yes please raise your hand i will proceed to next operator please raise your hand are you people following me or not please raise your hand okay give thumbs up come on guys please give thumbs up if you are following me are you guys are uh, uh, comfortable until this uh, do you have any doubts in this queries okay good many of them are following okay good please try to work parallelly with me these are all very simple queries okay so next thing we are going to see is not equal to equal to not equal to so what i'm going to do is see the city new york equal to city new york now what is my requirement Uh, regarding to not equal to so i don't want city new york so it will exclude all the rows okay it will exclude all the rows uh, uh, with the city new york and it will gives the remaining you can use both uh, uh, the operator like this also it will gives you hope oh, my screen uh, do you want to increase my font size hope it is uh, visible Okay, let me try to increase the font size i uh, hope it is okay now it's okay i think okay so you can use this operator also this is also not equal to for, in postgres for some uh, version it will not support i think this operator you can you can give a try and see uh, about your version okay i don't know <clears throat> uh, this also this operator is also not equal to and this operator is also not equal to okay you can Uh, use either of the thing for not equal to so it will uh, gives uh, all the rows excluding uh, city new york it will not bring the new york city okay so
so this is uh, for the not equal to what is between so between is nothing but it will brings the data between that range so let me um show you the between select so what is my requirement first thing you need to plan about the requirement okay so let me show you in the excel c um okay i i will I'll tell you the requirement my price of the okay my price of the book should be uh, within uh, okay 100 to 200 range okay what is my range range of the book price should be within 100 to 200 range i want to uh, filter that particular range of books alone okay so uh, that particular range of books which got sold so we are in the online sale right which got sold within this range okay so now i'm what i'm going to do is select okay hmm, i'm going to delete all these things select star from from online sale if you want to select uh, some uh, columns alone you can do that also i don't want all the columns i just want only the book id uh, alone okay I don't know whether this ID is having the same name there also. Let us see. Hmm? I want only the country. Okay. Within the country, comma. And I want the city. Okay. Which city it, uh, the sale got. For. And I want the customer ID. I don't want the names and all. Okay. I want just a customer ID is uh, enough. Okay. Comma. Customer ID. Okay. So let me check whether it is uh, having customer ID, I think. Hmm. Customer ID, let me check whether uh, it is having the same name. Limit to, yeah, uh, the same name we are also having here. Hmm. Okay, now I'm. what I'm going to do is where I want to filter, okay, I want to filter the price of the book. Uh, the online sale price of the book between hmm, price where price price between between the price should be between 100 to 200 see here what what is the uh, syntax which i given so where your column name between between that range okay from range to range okay and this and keyword should should come within this range this and keyword is used to filter my rows between this range okay so i want to see only limit uh, it will display all the things so it is not uh, the proper way to see okay limit limit i want just 10 10 is enough okay now you can see see here i have filtered book id country city and customer alone within this price range okay these are all the online customer who have ordered the books okay who have ordered the books within this price range okay i have limited my numbers to 10 okay <clears throat> so hope you understand about understood about the between what is for huh? uh, if you have any doubts please put it in the chat box i will try to clear okay or i will show you some more example about the between okay so shall we see some more example can we see some more example please give thumbs up can we move ahead with some more example Okay, good, good. Okay, now what I'm going to do is, now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to filter uh, the shipping date. Okay, let us take the shipping date. Okay, uh, my shipping date should be, see here, my shipping date where, shipping date, and it should be between uh, any date, it's up to you. Okay, I'm going to copy this date. And when you are giving uh, the date and where care column and all, it should be within the single quote. 
but if you are giving some integer and numeric data it uh, there is no need for uh, the single quote okay there is a syntax you need to follow in the postgres so my date range uh, should be within uh, 31 7 2018 and 31 7 2019 okay it will use all the columns but uh, i don't want to view all the columns and all okay just uh, 20 limit is enough okay so see here you can see here it will brings the book id country city customer these columns alone from online sale table where ship date okay this is my filter column ship date and it should be between 31 within this range okay within this range my what is my online sale okay what are all the books sailed within this range within this date range from 2018 to 2019 um what is the sale okay and i have filtered the columns alone this particular columns alone if you want to filter with uh, any other columns you can do it okay it's up to you it's up to the requirement so we have seen the between also and now we are going to see like okay now we are uh, um, it's already time shall we proceed uh, uh, tomorrow um, we will okay, i will give you some exercise regarding to this to do now okay